Power Rangers. I want to get my thoughts on the Power Rangers, guys. You know, think a little bit of what I think about the film that's coming out next year. And even though I haven't got updates on this, this I'm going to use this video to talk about some stuff. And just see what my anticipation is for this film. Okay, guys? So, I'm going to start off with the original Power Rangers, though. I think the original Power Rangers is a bunch of bull I'm kidding. It's to me, it's nostalgia right there. It's something I grew up with. My childhood center around so many things, but one in particular that always is engraved into my mind is the Power Rangers. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in particular. I love the ones that come out after some of them. But that one. Is the one that just just made me love just gave me so much fun as a kid and just seeing those seasons with the Power Rangers with the you know Jason as the Red Ranger Tommy as the green or white Ranger and just the rest of the crew and you know what they've gone for it was just so cheesy but it fit for at the time what it was had so much fun with it every time you know the climax ends with them getting into their megazords taking on whoever the monster of the week is and you know trying to take him down and or her and it was just so campy but i love that and then the movie came out and it came out with you know some of the original crew and then the other people that replaced the original crew in like the second season and i love the movie the movie wasn't great the cgi the special effects don't hold up I just saw it a couple minutes ago and just, you know, thought, I want to get my thoughts on this. And, but still, that to me is also part of the nostalgic. And I just love seeing them kick ass. And it was just so much fun for me. Now that so many, 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 many years later, we have this reboot coming out, which is still by the same people. It's just they want to go on a different, you know, path now, a different tone of this film and see if they can introduce new audiences and update some things we have seen you know the cast be revealed you know i don't know all of the actors names but the five parents that have been cast some of them like i recognize rj sada from me and her own the dying girl and i've heard of becky g from her music on the radio and they've been cast as like the blue ranger and the yellow ranger and then there's other people that have already been cast i wonder if we're going to be introduced with the green ranger in this one who knows, I'll probably just say that for a sequel, if it does good, and introduce them there. Maybe we'll just do. Maybe they'll just do what every movie does and plan something for sequel installments and that we'll, we'll just get a little taste of the Green Ranger, you know, the character who's going to be playing him, the actor in the film. But yeah, those have come out. You have seen photos of how they look like in the suits. People have been calling them the, the Iron Man Corpse or whatever, you know, it's the Iron Man Squad. They all look like they're all stuff um, sponsored by stark industries or something in those in that realm and then we've seen photos of elizabeth banks as the new and rebooted rita repulsa which is supposed to be the character but is clearly by the photo gonna be now like rebooted it's like a different look for her and oh my god it's looking wonderful so, you know do i need to say anything more my gosh she's gorgeous and then, you know, the the best news I've heard from this is Brian Cranston is playing at Zordon. That's so good seeing him come back to where he started with he was being the voice actor for some of the villains that the Power Rangers went up to. Now he's coming back to play the guy that assembles all these Power Rangers. The like Nick Fury of the team has Zordon and it's just amazing seeing him that he is the first actor in the old series to come back for this new film. And I can't wait to see how he interacts with the Rangers, if he's still going to be, you know, how Zordon looks in this. And, you know, how how much are we going to tell that's Cranston talking with the Rangers? And that would be intriguing to see. We've had some other mul multiple posters, you know, characters, uh, posters out, a teaser with, you know, the stars making the symbol, the lightning. So, you know, that lightning bolt for the logo is iconic. And... Honestly, some people are saying these are not my Power Rangers, and it's not going to like that Ghostbuster job, but people are not really liking this for those who are fans. I'm a fan for this, and I'm excited. I want to see what they can do in this new world, you know, new age. I want to see 
they can take this to another darker path or just make it more a realistic version of this this is you know going to be one of my anticipated movies of next year i'm one of the few power ranger fans that is excited to see this reboot i just hope it they better not crap on it i'm giving it hope that better not just shit all over the bed or something please guys no hum important a specific fan base is to the power rangers and try to make at least a good decent average power rangers movie make us have a good time with it at least if it's not going to be the next godfather or the dark knight but just you know respect the source material and i just can't wait to see this movie next year so those are just some of my thoughts for this power rangers movie that's that will be out next year you know i want to see it i'm a fan what did you guys think of it? Do you guys not care? Did you guys grow up, you know, in a time that the parents just were not around that you can't really relate to? If you're a fan of this, are you excited to also see this reboot? Let me know all this in the comments below, Roland Empire. And as always, laugh, smile, repeat.